everyone. Welcome to Catherine's Play. I'm Catherine. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you are inspired today to hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today, we are going to keep it simple, easy, and delicious using our Instant Pot making ground beef stroganoff. Y'all, and to make it simple and easy, we are not using those packages that you get at the store, all right? Everything you see here, which is very easy, we're going to make the stroganoff with. You're gonna need one pound of ground beef, salt, pepper, about half an onion we're gonna chop. We got a little bit of flour here, egg noodles, gotta need your noodles, right? Beef broth, we're gonna need some garlic. I'm gonna put some paprika in mine. I like paprika in my stroganoff. And we're gonna be using a can of cream of mushroom soup. All right, y'all, simple, easy, and delicious, what it's all about here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do, because we're gonna be doing it all in one pot, is we're going to be browning up our ground beef in here with the onion and the garlic and get that started. Let's go. All right, to go ahead and get our Instant Pot ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put the saute button on, onto the 30 minutes there. That way it'll give us time to brown up the meat and everything inside of that pot. All right, so now that it's ready, I'm gonna go ahead now and add some oil and then I'm gonna add my chopped onions into it. All right, now that our onions are nice and translucent and soft, I'm gonna go ahead now and I have one pound, let me make this for you, one pound of ground beef that I'm gonna put in there and brown that up. Now, I'm using my favorite tool here. This is my meat chopper, and it's really good and useful for browning up meats like ground beef, ground chicken, ground pork, any kind of ground meat like that. So you just kind of put it on top of it and twist, and that's what we're gonna do here. Now I usually list down in my description box any of my favorite tools that I like that I like and where I get them from. All right, we're going to continue browning this up and we'll be right back. All right, now that our meat is almost browned up inside of our instant pot here, I'm going to go ahead and add our one teaspoon of garlic and start mixing that in there and cooking that down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna change out my tools now, and while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping the bottom just to make sure there's no bits down there because, you know, that will give you a warning notice. <laughs> now, my next thing here is I'm gonna drain this grease out of here, and instead of trying to get all that meat out of there, I've got some paper towels that I'm gonna push into there and just sop up some of that grease. It's such a fast way to get out grease from a pan if you don't wanna drain it. All right, our meat is all browned up. We're gonna go ahead now and add our other ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead now and stir in one tablespoon of flour. Let that coat the meat really good. All right, to that I've got one can of cream of mushroom soup that I'm gonna add. So I've got three cups of beef broth here, and now I'm just going to pour it into my can to get some of that soup out of the can. Just stir that up. That'll help loosen up some of that extra soup out of that can there. That's one. Mix that all up in there. All right. Now we're going to flavor it with some pepper. What is stroganoff without pepper in it, right? <laughs> now there is an ingredient that I like to put into it and that's my paprika. Just a nice little pinch of it. Oh, it's smelling so good in there, y'all. There we go. And then we're gonna add a little bit, let me move my stuff over here so I can see it. Salt. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Just 
Just make sure you scrape down on the bottom also. Just release anything that might be back down in there. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a taste and make sure that the seasonings are where they need to be at. Oh yeah, that's really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add three cups of my egg noodles here. Put them all in there. All right, now what you wanna do with that is just push them down as far as you can get them into the mixture down there. Make sure you kind of cover them. Just like that. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and close our lid on our Instant Pot now. Got my lid here. All right, lock it into place. I'm gonna move this up a little bit so you can see. Now on the back, there's a knob and you wanna push that to ceiling, just like that. All right, so we're gonna cancel our saute mode. We're gonna put it on pressure cooker. We're gonna go up to eight minutes. All right, we're gonna let it build up pressure and then it's gonna do a countdown for the eight minutes. And then what we wanna do is a natural release for just five minutes, y'all. And then we're gonna do a quick release on it. All right, it's building up pressure now. I'll be back. All right, so we've already done our quick release on here after the five minutes. The pin back here has dropped. So we're gonna go ahead now and take our lid off and push it away from us so the steam goes somewhere else like that. Oh, does that look good in there, y'all? All right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right, got one more thing to add. One cup of sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead in here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Get a towel to hold that pot right here. It's pretty hot. Mmm, right. how does that look? Right there. Can y'all see that? Mm. All right, those noodles are cooked perfectly, y'all. All right, let's bowl this up, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all, can y'all see that? I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> mm. Ground beef stroganoff in my Instant Pot. It all happened in one pot, y'all. I have nothing to clean up. Mm. All right, I'm going in for a bite. I sprinkled a little bit of parsley on here to give it some color. And these noodles, oh, they look delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh, y'all, stroganoff flavor. It did not come out of a package. It did not. You saw it. Simple ingredients. Mmm. Those noodles are perfectly cooked. Mmm. And that sour cream just gives it that nice creaminess flavor to it. All right, y'all. I want to thank you so much for coming to my show today. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my show, I hope you are inspired today to want to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to watch more of my shows as they come out. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode. Bye.